Well, at 22, she's already got the complete Olympic set, gold, silver, bronze, also the newly minted and crowned women's singles figure skating champion, first Canadian to do that in 45 years. And today, Caitlin Osmond is here to talk competition and companionship, how the love of animals can make life a whole lot better for people and pets, right? Yes. I'll say, Caitlin Osmond joins us now. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. It's a me. pleasure to meet you. And little Turner, right? And Turner. Turner. All right, let's get the business out of the way first. You've teamed up with Nulo Pet. Yes. It's right there on your shirt uh, to launch this donation program. You're going to be at the Humane Society here in Toronto today. Tell me about the, the partnership. Nulo is, is amazing. I've been partnered with them for a little while now. And being an athlete, I'm used to being fueling myself with, with all the nutrition that I need. Sure. And... I travel a lot, so knowing that my dogs are fed, my dog is fed, my cat is fed, um, really makes me feel comforted when I'm away. Yeah. So today you're going to be at the Humane Society, you're going to do some meet and greet. And, yes. Uh, tell me about the connection and how important the love of a great pet is in your life. I've only ever had pets growing up. I've had a pet ever since I was born, uh, between dogs and cats. Um, they're always there and it's helped me so much with just for one, giving me something to do when I'm home. Mm. Um, but even the cuddles at night, um, coming home after just a terrible, terrible day, and they're always just excited to it see just, you no matter what. So it makes me so excited. It's just, it's such a selfish love. It's all one way. I mean, they're love shadows, right? Exactly. They, just, they do everything for us. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the other business. What a winter you have had, the lady. <laughs> Olympic Gold World Championship. Is it all a blur? Has, has this all sunk in? Because you're, you're almost too busy to let it sink in. Yeah, I've only been home for two days since the World Championships mm -hmm. happened. <laughs> um, yeah. So not much of sunk in yet. It's still so surreal and so exciting. But everyone I've talked to who's newly minted world champion told me to wait four months. So. Oh, that's, is that the time? Span? Three, four three, four months and it'll start kicking in. <laughs> and no rest, as we said, the stars on ice, doing stuff with Jeffrey Buttle. Tell me a bit about what you're doing on tour, where you're going, where you've been, where you're going. So we're traveling across Canada and we started in Halifax just a, a little while ago. Yesterday we were in London and hit our sixth show, which is halfway for us. Um, so now we start heading west and the next show will be in Winnipeg. It must be fun though, right? A chance to sort of exhale and just let the artistry come out. There's, you, know, you don't have the, the pressure of competition. It must be a completely different headspace for you, I'm guessing. Oh, it is. And it's just so much fun. There are no rules. There's no judges. We're just free to try new things, experience new things, um, try new styles. And then there's the group numbers, which is so much fun because we become such a family on the ice. You know, for people that don't know, you had a really bad injury, a pretty nasty broken leg just three years ago. Would have ended a lot of people's careers. It certainly could have ended yours. How did you complete a comeback after that? A lot of, a lot of work. Um, I had orig originally hung up my skates when I was injured, um, but I got back on the ice, obviously. <laughs> um, and after just a lot of mental training and a lot of friends and great coaches, I managed to convince myself to get back. You know, Canadian skating is in good hands. There's been a, a, quite a lot of turnover. There's going to be some retirees. There have been some announced already, but, but uh, the future looks pretty bright, doesn't it? <laughs> All around. It is definitely exciting. and. From what I've seen, the new generation of skating is, is really good, and it'll be a good couple of years. Well, thanks for joining us, Caitlin Osmond and Turner. And where Turner. are you going to be again? Do you know where, which Toronto Humane Society you're at today? I will be at the Toronto Just Humane Society. The, the, main, the main location. The main one, right. um, and then I'll be at PetSmart later Great. on. Great. Thanks very much.